Uh, on the STEP protocol, usually uh, when we're doing an echo, the head is towards the machine, they're on the right side down. And we usually do a transdiaphragmatic view to get the aortic outflow so we don't have to flip the animal. But when we're having trouble getting that aortic outflow, what we can do is go back to the traditional approach with left sided down, head away from the machine. And in cats, you really have to be lined up with the body wall in order to um, get the aortic outflow accurately. Otherwise, it's, not, it's going to be offline. And you have to, in order to do proper Doppler, you have to line up the probe in the angle of incidence within 15 degrees theta. So in a, in a dog, you typically stay just caudal um, in the last rib adjacent to the sternum. But in cats, you have to go really high about a third of the way up the rib cage in order to be able to be lined up with the aorta. And when we do that, we find our little niche, we find a beating heart, that's a start, and we just do little tiny twists till that aorta comes in clean. And you can see that as the sound waves come through, they're going to be lined up correctly with the aorta. If the probe is like this, the aorta will not be lined up. Or if you're over on the sternum, the aorta will not be lined up. You have to be high on the chest, about a third of the way up the chest, flat, and pointing towards the eyes of the patient. And when you do that, then the aorta will be lined up correctly. And from that point, you can get a nice clean envelope.